In this lecture, I want to show you how to get started with a digital business, especially if you're starting up today. I called this world of today a world of super platforms because most of the digital pipelines, so how we bring really content to the billions of people across the world, has been blocked and controlled by a few very large platforms. That's why my argument is that the new standard of today is really from starting uh, on a digital micro niche, which is a place where you're going to have lower competition, stronger demand and higher margin just because you're not starting by trying to reach everyone. You're starting actually by identifying who is your smallest viable audience so with your smallest viable audience that is going to help you out in kicking off your digital micro niche in that case what happens is that of course over time also micro niches might become more competitive as more businesses come within them and so it's going to be very important to reposition yourself strategically to understand how to really be fit and have you know a profitable business within those micro niches but in general the way you want to start is really by identifying identifying your smallest viable audience how do you do that here i have a very simple case studies that you know i put together for you let's imagine that you're starting a business from scratch now if you're starting a business from scratch let's say that you want to build an online bookstore if you were to really focus on providing as many books as possible on these online bookstores, then what you're trying to build is a company that we already know exists since uh, many, many years, and it's called Amazon. Instead, you want to really start from the bottom. So you want to identify by going from the top of a platform like Amazon, you want to drill down and identify who is your smallest viable audience. In this specific case, you know, the simplest way to really identify your niche to understand whether there is a place and a potential business for you is, for instance, by really browsing through the categories of Amazon and within them identifying a smallest category, let's say like historical fiction, where you can, you know, look into to see if there is within a historical fiction, a subcategory, which is very interesting. In this case, I really focused on, uh, you know, within historical fiction on the Renaissance. So in other words, instead of starting a bookstore that is going to have all the books possible about any topic, start a bookstore online that focuses on historical fiction of Renaissance time. And so in that case, you're going to focus on, you know, authors that, for instance, cannot be found on Amazon or anything that is, um, you know, interesting and is going to be very curated. So it's going to be interesting for an audience that you can offer as much valuable as possible. In that instance, you're going to be interesting for, you know, those super platforms because you're going to have something that they don't have. And at the same time, you're going to be very interesting for your smallest viable audience that is going to help you out in kicking off your business.